Dear students, our topic is continuity of a function. Intuitively, a function is continuous in its domain if its graph is a curve without breaks or jumps throughout its domain and a function is continuous at a point in its domain if its graph does not have breaks or jumps in the immediate neighborhood of the point. Okay, I draw a few curves. Say the first curve is this one. Okay, say so this is y is equal to fx, f of x, and this is x axis that is the domain line. So there is a point A, x is equal to A, where there is a hole in the curve. That means the function, the function is not defined at the point x is equal to A. And if you find that this is your LHL left hand limit and a right hand limit both will exist it is the rhl but f a f of a does not exist here so maybe at this point uh, the function is not defined anyway okay so for this limit exists but the function is not continuous on the other hand you can think that if you want to draw this curve you can draw but after some moment, you have to lift your pen and again you have to draw the car. I take another one, say this one. This is the domain line, x axis, this is y axis, range line. Suppose another curve is like this. Say the point again I take, this is a, x is equal to a, and uh, again there is a hole but you will find that the function is uh, defined at the point x is equal to a because you will get the value of f of a this is actually f of a now the right hand limit and left hand limit both exists this is your this part is uh, left hand limit and uh, uh, here you are getting rhl and both are equal you observe carefully the value will coincide LHN L RHL coincide that means <coughs> limit exits limit exits and the function is defined at the point x is equal to a but since LHL is equal to LHL is equal to RHL but not is equal to f of a for this again the function is discontinuous you can observe you can draw it in this way and uh, after some moment, you have to lift your pen and again you have to draw the curve. So, at the point x is equal to a, the function is discontinuous. Next, I draw another curve, say this one. Again, x axis. This is the domain line actually. <clears throat> so, and the curve is taken like this. There is a hole in the curve, there is a jump okay so this is the required curve say y is equal to fx so observe carefully say this is the point x is equal to a okay so there is lhl this part is actually lhl and uh, there is rhl also rhl this part is the value of rhl say r and this part is the lhl that means l and again you observe carefully that the function is defined at the point x is equal to a this is your f of a this is the f of a f of a so the the point this this value is equal to f of a that means the curve is defined at the point x is equal to a but observe carefully lhl and uh, lhl and rhl are not equal to each other for this the limit does not exist since the limit does not exist so the function is discontinuous at the given point x is equal to a on the other hand you can observe that you can draw this curve on the left side of a um, uh, at freehand but you have to lift again your pen after what you can draw from this part and going to positive infinity so since LHL and RHL are not equal, the limit does not exist and freely you can't draw the curve. 
at a moment so you have to lift lift your pan so for this the function is discontinuous and i want to draw another curve say this one okay like this this is going to positive infinity this part is also going to positive infinity and uh, say at this part this is a okay you again observe carefully that the LA, the, this left side is going to positive and the right side is also going to positive infinity for this lhl that means a limit extends to a minus of the function fx is going to positive infinity is tending to positive infinity on the other hand also limit x tends to a positive x tends to a positive of this given function of the given function f of x is again tending to positive infinity isn't it and the value of the function at the point x is equal to a also not defined so for this the function is not continuous since not both of them or any one of them is a finite value that means lhl and rhl both are not defined at the point x is equal to a and the function is not also defined at the point x is equal to a for this the function is discontinuous moreover if you want to draw this curve you can draw this part but after that you have to lift this pen and again you can draw this curve so the the function is discontinuous at the point x is equal to a okay next these two examples are taken from your ncert book <coughs> this is the first example see that the function is given f of x is equal to f of x is equal to 1 if x is not is equal to 0 and f of x is equal to 2 if x is equal to 0 this is actually the constant function isn't it so x is not is equal to 0 it has two parts actually x is either less than 0 or x is more than 0 isn't it and another part is x is equal to 0 so when f of x f of x means your y y is equal to f of x is equal to 1 when a y is equal to any constant positive constant that that means uh, the, it will be a straight line and this straight line will be parallel to x axis and it is drawn also here so x is not is equal to 0 means either x is less than 0 or x is greater than 0 so the function that is y is equal to fx f of x is equal to 1 is defined only when x is less than 0 or x is more than 0 and this is drawn here parallel to x axis and the other part is when x is equal to 0 then y that means f of x is equal to 2 and it is drawn here this this point okay this point is 2 at the point x is equal to 0 for this uh, the coordinates it is written 0 comma 2 okay but in the both cases you see that lhl and rhl both lhl and rhl both are equal isn't it but since f of a that means f of 0 is not equal to l l or r i want to write it in here lhl is equal to r h l both are equal and they are equal to 1 but this is not any way equal to f of 0 what is f of 0 this value is given to this is 2 so since lhl rhl equal you can say that the limit exists here limit exists but this is not this is not equal to f of 0 for this the function is discontinuous at x is equal to 0 moreover you can draw this car the straight line and you have to lift your pen and draw here that is a point and afterward again lift your pen and you can draw that means at the point x is equal to 0 the function f of x is discontinuous next is you take this one f of x is equal to y is equal to f of x is equal to 1 if x is less than or equal to 0 and f of x is equal to 2 if x is greater than 0 all the points are taken 
again you see that your LHL is this part this is your LHL and what is RHL RHL is this part okay this value is RHL and uh, what is the value of f of 0 the value of f of 0 is given this is 1 this point this is solid point is written and there is a hollow so this point is not taken but this point is taken and also given here okay, y is equal to fx fx is equal to 1 if x is less than 0 or equal to 0 so there are actually two parts either x is less than 0 or x is equal to 0 that means when x is equal to 0 then f of x is equal to 1 so it is given the solid part okay so f of 0 is defined in in this case you are observing that lhl is not any way equal to rhl that means the limit does not exist the limit does not doesn't exist and uh, not only that f of 0 that is 1 is not is equal to equal to 2 so for this the function is not continuous at the point x is equal to 0 so this is another uh, example of discontinuity next this definition is taken from your NCRT book what is given suppose f is a real function real function on a subset of real numbers let c be a point in the domain of f then f is continuous at x is equal to c if limit extends to c of fx is equal to f of c uh, the uh, example the, the definition is not 100% uh, correct because actually uh, this should be finite this should be finite otherwise uh, it uh, the definition is not correct 100 percent not correct actually what does it indicates it indicates that a limit extends to c minus of f of x is equal to a limit extends to c positive of this function f of f of x is equal to finite value finite and is equal to f of c okay then the function fx is continuous at the point x is equal to c clear that means whatever we discussed here uh, the gist is number one f of uh, c f of c is defined okay f of c is defined number two limit x tends to c of f of x exists isn't it and finally number three limit x tends to c of the function f of x is equal to f of c okay if this happens these three condition fulfills then you can say that the function f of x is continuous at a given point x is equal to c okay next the example is taken from ncrt check it check the continuity of the function f given by f of x uh, that is equal to 2x plus 3 at x is equal to 1 okay so uh, first of all i want to draw actually if i don't draw this one you cannot understand you will traditionally or mechanically do this problem uh, okay i first of all i want to do mechanically okay lhl first of all lhl what is lhl lhl means limit x tends to x tends to 1 minus of this function function is given to x plus 3 okay uh, change the limit limit a tends to 0 a tends to 0 of 2 1 minus h plus 3 so the limiting value will be 2 into 1 minus 0 plus 3 that is equal to 5 similarly that, that means uh, you have to write it here you have to consider that let us consider that uh, x is equal to 1 minus h when when x tends to 1 minus then h tends to h tends to 0 isn't it so like this limit h tends to 0 2 into 1 minus h plus 3 
so this is equal to 5 on the other hand your RHL will be in this way a limit x tends to 1 positive of this function same function 2x plus 3 so I write again it a limit say uh, k tends to 0 you have to consider x is equal to 1 plus k like this so similarly you will get x limit at k tends to 0 2 times of 1 plus k plus 3 that is uh, in limiting condition 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and finally uh, what will be the value of this function f of x at x is equal to 1 that means f of 1 that is 2 into 1 plus 3 that is you are getting 5 so LHL is equal to RHL is equal to f of 1 so the function is continuous at a given point x is equal to 1 also I want to draw the curve then it will be helpful for you so the curve will be actually this is a linear equation linear polynomial you know linear polynomial is always continuous because there will be no um, break you have already learned about it in class 9th standard when you first learned about polynomial function the function is like this this is a straight line y, y is equal to mx plus c like like this y is equal to mx plus c m is the slope 2 is the slope here and uh, c is equal to 3 this point is actually 0 comma 3 okay so the function obviously you can draw it without lifting your pen so the function is continuous at x is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 x is equal to anywhere if you can take if you want to take any value then the function will be continuous c is an arbitrary point taken from the set of real numbers and obviously the function y is equal to fx is continuous everywhere at everywhere in r okay next examine whether the function uh, f given by fx is equal to fx is equal to x square is continuous at x is equal to 0 okay now again in the same way the lhl lhl is equal to a limit x tends to x tends to 0 negative of this function function is same x square so obviously it will be 0 and rhl is equal to i don't uh, substitute because uh, in the same manner you have to substitute and you will get 0 okay limit x tends to 0 positive 0 positive of the same function x square that is again equal to 0 okay and what will be the value of the function f of uh, f of 0 f of 0 is equal to 0 square means 0 so you see that this is your LHL this is RHL so both both are equal and not only that this is equal to f of 0 so you can write LHL is equal to RHL is equal to f of 0 and all are equal to 0 for this this is 0 is a finite number for this the function f of x is continuous at x is equal to 0 now I want to draw this function then it will be clear to you okay the function will be you know in class 11 standard what will be the function and what is the curve of this function y is equal to x square this is f of x is equal to x square means y is equal to x square obviously you know this is a parabola isn't it so you draw this parabola and uh, observe carefully that what is the LHL at x is equal to 0 this is uh, your LHL this point will be your LHL and this is again your RHL and uh, this is the value of the function at x is equal to 0 all coincides at this point for this the function is continuous at x is equal to 0 not only that if you want to draw the curve then you will find that uh, you cannot you have not lifted your pen uh, at the point x is equal to 0 and freely you have drawn the curve so the function y is equal to fx fx is equal to x square is continuous not only that x is equal to 0 it is continuous at everywhere okay next this uh, question is also taken from your NCERT book all the examples are very important I am discussing with graphs so it will be very helpful 
डिस्कस द कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ द फंक्शन एफ गिवन बाय एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू मॉड्यूलस ऑफ एक्स एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो द फंक्शन इज दिस वन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू मॉड्यूलस ऑफ एक्स व्हाट इज मॉड्यूलस एक्स मॉड्यूलस एक्स इज प्लस एक्स व्हेन एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन ऑल इक्वल टू जीरो एंड माइनस एक्स व्हेन एक्स इज लेस देन जीरो इज इट this is the modulus function that means the definition so its lhl is equal to limit x tends to zero negative we check at the point x is equal because there is an equality so limit x tends to zero minus of this function that means x is less than zero x is x is tending to zero negative means from left side of zero that means x is less than 0 then the function is minus of x so we have to write minus of x obviously if you substitute you will get 0 isn't it x is equal to you consider x is equal to 0 minus h and substitute here you will get 0 similarly rhl what will be your rhl rhl is equal to limit x tends to 0 positive that means x is tending from the uh, from 0 uh, right side of 0 not 0 right side of 0 so and that means x is more than 0 when x is more than 0 then fx is equal to plus x so right to plus x so in this case also you will get 0 isn't it and what is f of 0 obviously you see that there is a equality sign sign that means f of x is equal to plus x when x is equal to 0 so you can put in place of x as 0 so you are getting 0 so lhl is equal to rhl lhl is equal to rhl is equal to f of 0 all are finite is equal to 0 so the function is continuous at the point x is equal to 0 so we have to discuss actually in the continue of the function at the point x is equal to 0 now i draw the curve and you can understand why the function is continuous at the point x is equal to 0 this is the real axis x axis okay origin now see that uh, f of x is equal to x so x means i want to draw this uh, straight line this is a, a linear polynomial actually y is equal to x what is y is equal to? y is equal to 1 into x plus 0 that means slope is equal to 1 that means the line this line will um, make 45 degree with the positive direction of x axis and pass through the origin isn't it so it is drawn here and uh, I can draw in this way also but since the domain is you have to observe domain x is greater than or equal to 0 that means from only this point you have, you have to draw you must draw and another part is y is equal to y is equal to minus x y is equal to minus x when I write it here y is equal to minus x means y is equal to minus 1 into x plus 0 isn't it minus 1 is the slope here that means this is uh, obtuse angle that means 135 degree and uh, uh, y intercept is 0 so it is it will go in this way isn't it this angle is 135 degree this angle is 45 degree with the positive direction of x axis and observe carefully the curve is the curve can be uh, this is a, th these are two parts of straight lines actually and it can be freely drawn at the point x is equal to 0 so the function is continuous at every where not only at x is equal to 0 okay so the function is continuous on r next so that the function f of x given by this one is not continuous this is the first case that i have to show the function is not continuous at x is equal to 0 there are two parts observe carefully the parts are x is not is equal to 0 or other part is x is equal to 0 x is not is equal to 0 means either x is less than 0 or x is more than 0 so domain is very important this is actually your domain this this part is the domain so I want to show your domain carefully. First domain part is d1 is equal to 
x belongs to R such that x is less than 0. This is the first part, x is less than 0. Second domain part is D2. This is x belongs to R such that x is more than 0. And third part, D3 is equal to, this is D3, x is equal to 0, so only 0. So the total R is taken actually. So in this, uh, I want to draw the curve first, then you can understand the continuity or discontinuity of the function, okay. So the, this is the, this is your range, uh, domain line and this one is your range line. And uh, y is equal to x cube plus y, x cube plus 3, the curve will be like this. But since x is not is equal to 0, the function is not defined at x is equal to 0. For this, these, there is a hole. There is a hole in this part. But the function is defined at x is equal to 0 and the value of this function is equal to 1. That means this is, this, this is actually your f of 1 f of 0 not f of 1 f of 0 and f of 0 is equal to 1 f of 0 is equal to 1 so carefully watch the function can be drawn but you have to lift your pen here at the point 0 comma 3 you have to lift lift the pen and after then you have, you can draw this one but before that you can draw a point here okay so since you have to lift the pen so the function is discontinuous at the point x is equal to 0 at the point x is equal to 0 moreover the function is defined at the point x is equal to 0 and the value of the function at the point x is equal to 0 is 1 this is given so i want to write your lhl lhl is equal to limit x tends to 0 minus of fx 0 minus means x is standing from the left side of 0 isn't it so x is less than 0 so you have, you have to take x cube plus 3 so write x cube plus 3 x cube plus 3 so in limiting case it will be 3 rhl rhl is equal to the limit x tends to 0 positive and uh, again same condition x is greater than 0 so x cube plus 3 and uh, the limiting case is 3 but what is f of 0 f of 0 you see it is given in your question f of, f of x is equal to 1 if x is equal to 0 that means f of 0 is equal to 1 the limit exists here because lhl and rhl both are equal in the figure also you observe that lhl this part is your lhl and there is your there is your rhl both are equal but this is your f of 0 uh, since LHL RHL are equal so the limit exists here limit exists okay limit exists but none of them that means LHL or RHL is equal to f of 0 no one is equal to f of 0 for this the, the function is discontinuous is discontinuous discontinuous at x is equal to at x is equal to 0 okay next discuss the continuity this is the example 8 discuss the continuity of the function given by f f of x is equal to x cube plus x square minus 1 okay so students the function i write x cube plus x square minus 1 i want to take a point say c belonging to the set of real numbers okay that means c is a c is an arbitrary real number so what will be a limit x tends to c of f of x obviously this is limit x tends to c of f of x the function is x cube plus x square minus 1 that is you will get here if you substitute you will get c cube plus c square minus 1 isn't it on the other hand I'll change the color on the other hand f of f of c 
is equal to f of x is this one so f of c is equal to c cube plus c square minus 1 since since f of since you see that limit x tends to c of this function f of x is equal to f of c so for this the function is continuous at x is equal to c and c since c is an arbitrary point taken from r so the function is continuous at everywhere now i want to draw the curve then you can understand why it is continuous at everywhere okay domain line and uh, x cube plus x square minus 1 the curve is this one this is the curve and observe carefully and how do i draw this curve actually i shall show in curve sketching area so now just observe i have drawn this curve and there is no gap in this curve you can freely draw this curve and uh, since you can draw freely without lifting your pen so the fa function y is equal to fx f of x that is equal to x cube plus x square minus 1 is continuous at everywhere next discuss the continuity of the function f defined by f of x is equal to 1 upon x x is not is equal to 0 there is a restriction given x is not is equal to 0 so this f of x is equal to 1 upon x so first of all i want to find the lhl what is your lhl lhl is equal to this is the traditional method mechanical method limit x tends to say any arbitrary real number say c okay c minus of fx fx is equal to 1 by x so here you will get um, when you put c and then obviously this is a, a positive infinity isn't it and uh, if you put um, no this will be negative infinity why does it negative infinity i shall show in the curve sketching just you observe why do i write this one after that you will understand rhl is equal to a limit x tends to c positive of the function 1 by x and you will see find that this is positive infinity and since lhl and rhl not uh, any one of them is finite for this uh, limit does not exist moreover this is uh, discontinuous at the point x is equal to 0 now i want to draw this one you have already got this one in class uh, 11 standard this is a, a rectangular hyperbola actually this is the domain line and uh, the curve is this one like this okay this is the rectangular hyperbola so observe carefully at the point x is equal to 0 the function is going to positive infinity that is rhl is going to positive infinity so see that rhl is going to positive infinity on the other hand when uh, you um, that means when x tends to 0 negative that means uh, x is approaching to 0 from the left side of 0 then in this case the function is going to negative infinity so the function lhl is equal to minus infinity so none of them is defined at the point x is equal to 0 and lhl is not is equal to rhl so for this function is discontinuous at x is equal to 0 discontinuous discontinuous this is discontinuous at x is equal to 0 moreover you have to observe this that the function is continuous this is continuous at some part some part means minus infinity to, to 0 the function is continuous and here you observe the function is continuous again at 0 to positive infinity but the function is not defined any way at the point x is equal to 0 because rhl is going to positive infinity and lhl is going to negative infinity so the function is discontinuous at x is equal to 0 but uh, as far as the uh, question is concerned discuss the continuity of the function the function is continuous at r continuous at r minus 0 okay next
discuss the continuity of the function f given by f of x is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0 and x square if x is less than 0. This is another interesting question. First part is linear, second part is quadratic. So linear means a straight line. Linear, when a linear polynomial, every polynomial is continuous. This is a linear polynomial because its degree is 1. So it is continuous at everywhere and x square is a quadratic polynomial so it is also continuous. Obviously you just observe carefully. Uh, the curve is uh, this is f o f o first part is y is equal to x and second part is y is equal to x square okay y is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0 greater than or equal to 0 means this part and uh, uh, the uh, straight line is y is equal to x and uh, this makes 45 degree with the positive direction of x axis this is the line okay and uh, it is continuous at everywhere not only that at the point x is equal to 0 because the equality sign is taken here and y is equal to x square if this is given x is less than 0 x is less than 0 means on the left side of y axis that means minus infinity to 0 okay and the parabola will be drawn on the left side of y axis okay this is and you observe that the car be freely drawn not only at everywhere but also at the point x is equal to 0 and the function is continuous at x is equal to 0 obviously but it is continuous at everywhere okay next discuss the continuity of the function defined by f of x is equal to x plus 2 if x is less than 0 first part second part is minus x plus 2 if x is greater than 0 now you see that the curve is uh, and there are two straight lines piecewise function actually uh, I want to write it here y is equal to x plus 2 what is x x plus 2 x plus 2 means 1 into x plus 2 1 is actually your slope this is mx plus c okay m is equal to 1 that means theta is equal to 45 degree so this line makes 45 degree with the positive direction of x axis and since the uh, intercept is 2 so this point will will not pass through this point because the domain is given x is less than 0 this point is actually 0 comma 2 and another part is y is equal to minus x plus 2 y is equal to minus x plus 2 here this is minus 1 into x plus 2 minus 1 is your slope m is equal to minus 1 so theta is equal to theta is equal to 135 degrees isn't it so this angle is equal to 135 135 degree and uh, it will not go left side of y axis because it is given that your domain is x is greater than 0 only on right side of y axis y axis uh, the straight line can be drawn and nowhere the equality sign is given to 0 there is no x is equal to 0 in the domain that means the function is not defined at x is equal to 0 f, f of x is not defined defined at x is equal to 0 moreover in this graph also you see that there is a hollow there is a blank there is a hollow uh, in this curve okay so for this the function is discontinuous at the point x is equal to 0 the function is discontinuous at the point x is equal to 0 but the function if I want to say the uh, about the continuity of the function this may be continuous at the point at uh, r minus 0 if you uh, discard this point 0 then at the other points of r the function will be continuous but at x is equal to 0 the function is discontinuous next this is a good question taken from your book find the value of k so that the function f is continuous at the indicated value indicated value means this is the point x is equal to pi by 2 at x is equal to pi by 2 we have to find out the function is continuous so you have to find out the value of k very simple since 
f of x is uh, continuous continuous at x is equal to pi upon 2 so you can write lhl is equal to rhl is equal to f of pi upon 2 isn't it so i want to take only lhl2 equal to f of pi by 2 that means what is lhl lhl means limit x tends to pi upon 2 minus why do i give this minus sum this is the directional sign actually it means x is tending to pi by 2 from the left side of pi by 2 of f of x and uh, since x is not is equal to pi by 2 so you have to take this one k cos x right k cos x upon pi minus twice x and uh, what will be the value you have to actually substitute let x is equal to pi upon 2 minus h okay when x tends to pi upon 2 then h tends to 0 isn't it so you have to write a limit h tends to 0 k cos of x what is x x is equal to pi upon 2 minus h so write pi upon 2 minus h okay divided by pi minus 2x what is the value of pi minus 2x from this again you can find you just cross multiply twice x is equal to pi minus 2h, 2h so that you are getting twice h is equal to pi minus twice x isn't it twice h is equal to pi minus twice of x so pi minus 2x is equal to twice h so write twice h now k by 2 is a constant so you can take it out so k upon 2 a limit a, h tends to 0 whole divided by h cos of 90 minus theta cos pi by 2 minus theta that is equal to sine of h now what is the value of this part this is this is 1 so k upon 2 into 1 that is only k, k upon 2 and another part is what is the value of the function f of x at the point x is equal to pi upon 2 the value of the function is that means f of pi upon 2 is equal to 3 this is given in your question this is given okay f of pi by 2 is equal to 3 now see that since lhl is equal to rhl and is equal to f of pi by 2 now i have just found lhl and it will be equated to f of pi by 2 okay that means so from this two we can compare k upon 2 is equal to 3 so you are getting k is equal to 3 into 2 is equal to 6 so the result of k is equal to 6 okay next